Welcome back to the second edition of blowing crap up and slaying villagers in different anime mods. Let's go. So we all know about the Demon Slayer mod, like who doesn't, except for non-anime fans I guess. There's one spawn entity that is known to solo the entire verse single-handedly, and that person is Yoroichi, the most overpowered swordsman to exist in Demon Slayer. Like this guy is so freaking hard to kill. On the other hand, we have another anime mod. One that is less popular but filled with so much great content that I had to do a 100 day video on. And by the way, you should go check out that video. Anyways, there's another powerful swordsman by the name of Hinata Sagaguchi. From that time, I got reincarnated as a slime mod, or Tenchura for short. Her sword has the ability to slay anyone if she hits them 7 times. We're gonna see who's the best swordsman by putting them in a deathmatch against each other. Alright, everything's in place. Let's start. Round 1 Okay, that was a slaughter fest. Let's start round 2. Yeah, this man is overpowered. Just after 2 rounds, we know who's ultimately stronger between the two. It will be boring to move on this fast, so let's test the strongest demon slayer. Round 3, multiple Hinatas. That was unexpected. They fought each other and then got cleaned up. Round 4, Spirit Protector Colossus versus Yoroichi. Another one hit. Bro, this man is making this video so boring. Alright, final round. Charbidus. I think it's lagging. Oh, that was rather embarrassing. All Charbidus had to do was go in the air and shoot its scales. That was an interesting 5 rounds of fighting, I guess. I definitely thought some of the bosses would be harder to deal with. Anyways, let's move on to the next mod. Just kidding, we're staying here with that time I got reincarnated as a slime mod, or Tentura for short. And I'll be showing how overpowered one of the abilities are. Lust. Don't think that this slime is harmless. It might have a heart above it, but it ain't because of love. This ability Lust gives me the power to one-shot any creature that spawns in Minecraft. If you look back at a few videos on my channel, I made a video called One-Shotting the Strongest Demon Slayer, which we just saw a few seconds ago. And long story short, spoiler alert, I slayed multiple Yoroichis. You should still watch that video though. I downloaded some boss mods that should be a challenge, but not to me though, cause I have Lust. For the final boss to one shot, I'll be spawning in the Colossal Titan. Hopefully this ability demonstration showed you how overpowered Lust is. There's so much more content in the Tenchura mod that we'll probably revisit in a future video. But for now, let's move on to the next mod. Since we're on the subject of one of the greatest animes ever to be made, Boruto Next Generations. Just kidding. Attack on Titan is what I meant to say. There's also so much content in this mod that I might have to do a 100 day video on. Wink wink. Anyway, since I've been had this Levi Ackerman skin for as long as I can remember, it's only right for me to get nape cutting. 
I don't know if this is a glitch, but sometimes, or most of the time, my maneuver gear is just going past them. Well, my first Titan kill was actually a double kill. That is a very Levi of me thing to do. I want to say the movement with this gear is very satisfying to use. I don't even, I don't think I take fall damage either. Yeah, let's go get some third person kills. Yeah, I'm definitely more used to the movement now. Like this gear is so fun to use. I think that's enough Titan slaying for a day's work. I'm gonna leave the video here, so if you enjoyed going through these mods with me, consider subscribing. It really does help the channel grow. Also, please go check out my Twitch. I stream around 10pm Pacific Standard Time at twitch.tv forward slash Vulcan underscore superior. It would mean a lot. Thanks again for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next video or on Twitch. Hopefully.